What if you could generate high quality animated videos locally using just a single image and a video reference? No cloud tools, no paywalls, no hidden limits. Well, it's not a what if anymore because VASE is here. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've been following our series on video AI models, you know we love spotlighting tools that empower creators with full control. Today's spotlight? Vasia, powerful all-in-one model that just changed how we think about local video generation. Whether you're an animator, a video artist, or just curious about the future of creative tools, this is something you'll want to see. So what exactly is Vase? Vase is more than just another text to video model. It's a unified platform for generating and editing videos locally using only a few simple inputs, a reference image, a motion guide, and optionally some text. It supports frame level customization, style transfers, motion control, and the ability to operate entirely offline. That means your GPU your rules. While there aren't any official workflows just yet, the community isn't waiting around. In fact, several working Comfy UI workflows are already being shared and I'll walk you through exactly how to set one up and use it in just a bit. The latest VASE update really takes things to another level. With just a single image and a reference video, you can generate entire sequences with rich, controlled animation. We're talking full 80 one frame videos at 720x1280 resolutional running locally. That's not just impressive, it's practical. And for those of us who value creative control and data privacy, it's an absolute win. Let's talk installation. Vase is hosted on GitHub and their latest model, Vase 14, B contains 4 billion parameters. It's a beefy one. So unless you're running a powerful GPU like a 4090, you'll want to consider one of the quantized versions. These versions significantly reduce the VRAM requirement, making it accessible even for mid-range GPUs. But there's a trade-off. Heavier quantization can introduce visual artifacts. It's worth experimenting to find the sweet spot for your setup. To help with that, there's a compatibility guide over on the QuantStack Hugging Face page that lists the best model for your specific GPU. I highly recommend checking that out before diving in. Once downloaded, place the model inside your Confue Models UNet folder. You'll also need to install the text encoders in the clip directory. And for faster generation, the workflow suggests using CauseVid LoraMake, sure to drop that into your Laura folder. Need the workflow file itself? Just grab the .json from the linked Hugging Face repo. It comes with clear step-by-step -step instructions and is beginner friendly, even if you've never used WAN or Comfy UI before. Now, let me share my own experience with Vase. I tested both the Q6 and Q8 quantized versions on a 4090. Even with all that GPU power, generating 81 frames still took a while. Around 16 minutes for a 41 frame sequence using the Q8 GGUF model, it's not instant, but the quality makes it worth it, especially if you're aiming for stylized or cinematic animations. I didn't try the smaller models because I wanted to show you what VASE is really capable of when it's running near full potential. That said, if you're optimizing for speed or running on a lower end GPU, you can absolutely trim down the frame count or use lighter quantization. Just be aware, the lower you go, the more likely you'll notice visual degradation. You can also activate Sage Attention if your system supports it, just another way to speed things up. So, how did I actually use VASE? I started with a video, then used a tool I built to extract the frames. From there, I selected key images for testing. For this demo, I used the first frame of my video and applied a style transformation using a separate Comfy UI workflow. Specifically, I used an Arcane Laura to give it that stylized, animation-like aesthetic. 
Once I had the image looking the way I wanted, I plugged it back into the VASE workflow. Then I imported the reference video that would drive the motion. This gave me complete control over both the style and movement of the output video. And here's where the magic happens. By combining these two inputs, image and motion, you can generate fully animated sequences that preserve the look and feel of your stylized frame. To control movement, I followed the workflow's recommendation and used the open pose model from the Confioe ControlNet AUX package. This step is optional, but honestly, it's a game changer for motion accuracy. Basically, Open Pose analyzes your video and outputs skeletal pose data as images. These images are then inserted into the control video input of the one vase to video node. From there, all you do is hit run and vase takes over. A quick tip. The workflow includes a download link and installation guide for Open Pose. So if you're new to it, don't worry, everything you need is included. One thing I love about this system is its flexibility. You don't have to stick to just image plus video inputs. You can also go with text to video or even a pure image to video workflow. Each option gives you a slightly different level of control. With text, you rely more on prompt engineering. With an image only input, you define the look, but let vase improvise on movement. This versatility makes it suitable for so many use cases, be it animation, character generation, motion studies, or even concept prototyping. Before wrapping up, a few final tips based on my test. If your GPU is mid-tier, try lowering the frame count to 30 or even 20 while you're testing things out. Avoid the most aggressively quantized models unless you're just testing structure. Q6 seems to be the best balance. And don't forget to use a consistent image style for better visual continuity. Style mixing without planning can get messy fast. I'd love to hear what you would use VASE for. Are you thinking animated shorts, AI-generated music videos, stylized cutscenes? Let me know in the comments. And if you've already tested this model, what did your workflow look like? Did you get faster times or better results with a specific setup? So there you have it. VASE is a powerful and surprisingly accessible way to generate high quality videos with just a few key ingredients. The community is already building exciting tools around it and the creative potential is only just beginning to unfold. If you found this breakdown helpful, consider subscribing. We've got more tutorials and hands-on tests of AI video models coming up next week. And don't forget to drop your questions or share your workflows in the comments below. Your input always helps shape future episodes. Until then, stay creative, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.